Good morning, sixth graders. I'm so excited about doing this lesson with you today. It's our last one. And so what I decided to do, the first thing you're going to do in seventh grade next year is ratios. So I decided I would take a ratio lesson and do that with you today so that you're prepared for the beginning of next year. You may have already done this in your classroom, but we're going to go over this again with a really fun activity. How many of you like to fish? I know I do. I go fishing all the time with my husband. So today we're going to fish with ratios. Our lesson today is called Something's Fishy, Ratios and Proportions. Our objective is to understand ratio concepts and use ratio reasoning to solve problems. And this is still a sixth grade ob objective. What is a ratio? Well, we need to know that first before we can begin doing our activity. A ratio is a mathematical way of comparing two quantities or two numbers. The colon symbol is used to signify the re ratio relationship. Or you can use a fraction or you can use the word to or out of. For example, consider a bag with 10 pieces of fruit of which four are apples. The ratio of the number of apples to all the pieces of fruit can be expressed by the ratio 4 colon 10. Four out of the 10 are apples. Now, this is a fictitious word problem, so I don't want anybody to worry about Big Creek Lake having, not having enough fish in it. So just know that before we start this problem. Mobile County feels like there may be a shortage of fish in Big Creek Lake. Our task is to find out how many fish are in the lake so we can see if there is a shortage. How can we do this? Well, we could count all of the fish in the lake. Well, I don't think that would be possible, would it, to, catch, to count every single fish in the lake. We could try to guess, but would we be accurate, accurate enough? Or we could take a random sample of the fish. This might work, but how? Today I have Miss Phillips with me to help me with this lesson, and she's going to do the activity with us. We could take what's called a random, random sampling of the fish by what's called tagging the fish we scoop up. Now some of you may be aware of this word. Tagging means we're going to catch, scoop up fish in a net, and we're going to put markers on them, tags on them, so that when we put them back in the water, we can see if we pull them out again. A lot of um, scientists use tagging to find out about our environment and ocean life. We're going to be using goldfish crackers, the cheese goldfish crackers, and we're going to be using pretzel goldfish crackers. The cheese goldfish will represent all of the fish in the lake. These are all of the fish that are in the lake. And the pretzel goldfish will represent what we scoop out as our random sampling. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to ask Miss Phillips to capture fish from the container. And we're going to count how many we capture. So okay. Miss Phillips, if you'll use your net and you'll cap, don't look while you're doing it, oh. and capture fish. Maybe just a few more capture. Okay, so now we're going to take our captured fish and we're going to count them. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-seven. So we have thirty seven fish that are our tagged fish. Now, Miss Phillips, will you mm -hmm. take the pretzels and count yes. out 37 of those? We'll do. And I'm going to add this to our data on the board. We captured oops, 37 fish. So as you see, Miss 
Phillips is counting out 37 random fish. As soon as she's done with that, we are not putting these back in the bowl. These fish are now part of our sampling. So we're gonna put these to the side and use the tagged fish to represent these. So you pour them in the bowl. 37 fish, put them back in the lake. Okay, now what we're going to do We're going to recapture fish by scooping out a sample. We're going to count how many pretzel fish there are and how many goldfish there are, the cheese ones. Record the numbers and put the fish back in, mix them up again, and recapture. So I'm going to shake them up really good. And without looking, Miss Phillips is going to capture some more fish. Okay. They get enough? Uh-huh. Okay. Put them there, and if you'll separate them by cheese and, and pretzel. pretzel. Okay, got it. And count each. So pretzel, two, four, six, seven pretzels. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 goldfish. Actually, how many? So 16, so 16 and 16 plus seven. 23? Mm-hmm, 23. Okay. So our ratio of tagged fish to the total amount of fish she pulled out was seven, whoops, to 23. Seven out of the 23 fish were tagged. So we're going to dump them back in here again. Shake, shake, shake. And do the same exact thing again, Miss Phillips. Okay, don't oh. look. Mm -hmm. Don't look. It's hard not to look. Okay, dump okay. them, uh -oh. and we're going to count again. Okay, much smaller, only two pretzel fish. Six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 21 goldfish. So 21 plus two is 23. 23. She pulled out the same exact amount as last time. Isn't that funny? Wow, <laughs> so our ratio is two to 23. We're going to do this a total of four times so that we have, I know we've learned in science, an experiment, you cannot get good data if you don't do an experiment several times. So we're going to do it again. Okay. 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 I think I got more fish this time. That's fine. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five pretzel fish. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty. Forty plus the five? Mm -hmm. okay, forty-five so total. Forty-five total. So our ratio is five to 45. And I know some of you are thinking, well, that could be simplified. Yes, it could be simplified to one to nine, but for our purposes here, we're not going to simplify because we need the bigger numbers. There are times to simplify and times not to. It depends on what the problem's asking for. One more time to have good data. Not looking. Do, do, do a little bit. Oh, I didn't get enough. Okay, there you go. Better? Mm-hmm. Okay. So pretzels are two, four, six, seven pretzels. Wow. Seven pretzels. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty. 32, 34, 36, 38, 39. So 39 and 7 is 46. So our ratio is 7 to 46. 7 out of all the fish she pulled out, she caught, were pretzels. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use this data to try to figure out how many total fish are in our lake. Because remember, I never gave you a number of how many total fish were in the lake. So that's, we're gonna use this data. The first thing we need to do with this data is we need to add up 
the columns. We have 7 plus 2 is 9. I'm saying 7 plus 2 is 9, and 5 plus 7 is 12 for a total of 21 tagged fish. Now, we're going to look at the total number of fish. So 23 plus 23 is 46, and 45 plus 40, 46 is 91. Okay, so the, we've got to add these two together. So 21 out of 137 is what we're looking at for our ratio of tagged fish to the amount total that she pulled out. So now, how many fish did we begin with tagged? How many tagged fish did we have from the very beginning? It was 37. I know you remember from earlier in the year about proportions. One over two, one half, would equal the same thing as four over eight. Because if we simplify four eighths, that is one half. So we're going to do kind of the same thing with our numbers here, even though they are a tad bit larger. So we have the average tagged. So we're going to say 21 is the average tagged over the average total, which we're saying 137. Okay, so this so far is the data that we have. Now, we're going to take our 37 total fish that we tagged. Now, this is always something that I, I tell my students. To know the biggest problem I see with proportions is that students put the 37 in the wrong place over here. You have to have tagged fish with tagged fish and total fish with total fish. Now, we're looking for the total. We don't know how many fish are in the lake right now. So average total has to be with total in the lake. But our tagged fish has to be by the total number that we put in the mix. These represent the pretzels. So this, these are also tagged fish, but they're the ones that we tagged from the very beginning. We knew how many fish we tagged. We put 37 in that bowl. So we've got average tagged with the total we tagged, we've got average total with whatever the total is going to be. Now, at this point, this is now a proportion, and we have to figure out what x equals. There are two ways that we can do this. To find an exact answer, we can use the numbers we have up here, and we're going to do that way first. After we're finished with that way, we are going to round the numbers so that maybe we have a little bit easier way of doing that to figure out because we're only going to have an estimated guess using this. So if you say, if you use cross multiplication, you can say 137 times 37. 137 times 37. Don't forget to leave, put your zero in right, the right place value. And we get, no, put an extra zero in there. I'm sorry about that. 5,069. Okay, so now what we'll do, we multiply these but we still have a number sitting there. So we're going to have to divide by the 21 to get our answer. 
Once we divide by this 21, we will know how many fish are in the lake. I'm not going to give you, I know how many fish are in the lake. I'm not going to tell you until I show you how to do the um, simplifying. So 21 goes into 50 two times. 21 goes into 86 four times. Bring down the 9. 21 goes into 29 one time. Whoops, I'm running out of room. And you get a remainder of 8. Okay, now I want you to think about this. Sometimes we will figure out the decimal for this. But my question is, that's about a half a fish, so it would probably be 0.4. It would be 241.4. My question for you is, can you have four-tenths of a fish? When you're due, even if it would have been 0.8, I would not round up because you can't have eight-tenths of a fish. It's either a whole fish or it's not a whole fish. So we're going to leave it at 241. So right now, without simplifying, we are saying that there's 241 fish in the lake, okay? So now what I'm going to do is we are going to round this to make them more compatible. We're going to make compatible numbers. So if we have 20 here, we can make this 21, 20. And we can make this 137, 140. What's compatible with 20 that's close to 37? 40. So we can make this 40 and find out how many fish are in the lake. So now, what do you multiply by 20 to get 40? We multiply by 2. So whatever you do to the numerators, you have to do to the denominators as well. So when you say 140 times 2, you get 280. So this is using compatible numbers and rounding. We're saying with this, 200, about 280 fish are in the lake. With this one, we're saying, finding the exact amount, we're saying 241 fish are in the lake. Well, Miss Phillips, which one do you think would be more accurate? I think 241 would be more accurate. Okay, 241 would probably, I would guess, to be more accurate, but this kind of makes things more simplistic if you wanted to use that way. I will tell you now, drum roll please, how many fish were in the pond? There were 220 fish in the pond. That's very close mm -hmm. to the 220. Mm -hmm. That is very, very close. It's all in what you pull out of here. So this, this one's a little bit off, but when you're talking about hundreds of things, being off by 21 is not bad at all. Ms. Phillips, you did a great right. job. Thank you. Now. That's a fun activity. <laughs> this, it's your turn now. This week, we're going to figure this problem out for yourself for a chance to win a t-shirt or a Chick-fil-A gift card. I love Chick-fil-A, so that would be what I would want. When you have your answer, email your answer to mcpsstv at mcpss.com. Make sure you titled it, title it with sixth grade math so that they'll know which question you're answering. So here's the question. I have given you the numbers. It's like I've already done this part of it. You're just trying to use my data and find your answer. If you have a phone on you, you might want to snip, uh, take a picture of the screen right now, or I will give you a second to get a piece of paper and write all of this down. You don't have to copy everything. You took a sample of fish from the lake to see how many fish are in the lake. You scooped down, captured 23 fish. 
So that is the amount we captured were the 23. Remember, we did 37 last time. We did 23 this time. And then you tagged them. You then got the following data from recapturing fish. Capture one, we, we captured eight fish. There were 24 total. We, we got eight of the captured. There were 24 total. Capture two, we got 12 pretzel fish and 48 total. Capture three, we have seven pretzel fish and 28 fish total. How many total fish are in the lake? I'll give you a minute to copy this down. Remember, you have to get the averages. You can also, this afternoon, go on YouTube and you can look this back up if you need the data again. But I will give you a minute to copy this down. You can win a really great prize. Make sure you put your name with it as well. Boys and girls, it has been so wonderful to work with you, and I hope I have some of your brothers and sisters next year in my class. You've been a great audience, and my wish for you now is just to have a great, wonderful summer. Goodbye.